Hi there, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware, and today we're going to take a look at the Google Nexus 5 Android 4.4 KitKat-driven smartphone by LG. The Nexus 5 is powered by a quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 system on a chip based on Qualcomm's latest Crate 400 architecture and their Adreno 330 graphics engine. The device is also strapped with 2 gig of RAM, 16 or 32 gig of internal flash storage, and 802.11 ABGN and AC compatible Wi-Fi. Also on board is Bluetooth 4 connectivity as well as a single micro USB 2 port. The device retails for $350 for the 16 gig unit unlocked and $400 for the 32 gig variant unlocked. Though you can pick it up on contract at AT&T, Sprint, and T-Mobile for around $150. But unfortunately, Verizon is currently not an option for the device. The Nexus 5's display is a 5-inch True HD IPS Plus capacitive touchscreen with full 1080p resolution and a super tight 445 ppi pixel density. It's sheathed in Corning Gorilla Glass 3, and this phone has one of the nicest screens we've ever seen in a 5-inch device. The video here doesn't do the Nexus 5's display justice. Compared to the Samsung Galaxy S4 line, the Nexus 5 has a more balanced color temperature, in our opinion, better contrast, and it just pops. Rival screens from Nokia's Lumia line, LG's G2, or the albeit smaller iPhone 5 do compete, but the Nexus 5 really looks great. A quick rock around will show us that the Nexus 5 has the usual placements. On top front is a 1.3 megapixel front facing webcam. And on the bottom you'll find a pair of speaker ports as well as a micro USB port. On the right edge you'll find the power button and a micro SIM card slot. And on the left edge you'll find your volume rocker that also doubles as a camera shutter button as well. And on top you'll find the headphone jack. Now the back of the Nexus 5 is covered in a soft touch matte finish plastic that feels really nice in the hand, but it does collect fingerprints like many phones these days. It's better than most this way, and the Nexus logo looks really sharp, adding a nice minimalistic but premium styling to the back of the device. And back here you'll also find an 8 megapixel rear facing HD camera with autofocus, image stabilization, and an LED flash. Side by side here versus the Samsung Galaxy S4 Active on the left, the Nexus 5 in the middle, and the Moto X on the right, the Nexus 5 does a nice job of minimizing bezel and is a reasonably thin device. It's able to get just as much screen real estate into a smaller form factor than the Galaxy S4 Active, but unfortunately some of that real estate is encroached upon by the on-screen home, back, and menu navigation buttons. With KitKat, Google has started making them translucent in some of the apps, like Google Now, giving you at least some of that real estate back, but the all-important Chrome browser still has a flat black navigation bar that eats up a band of the screen at the bottom. It's too bad, and Google could probably easily remedy this with an Android update, and we hope they'll see the light. Still, we prefer to see these buttons on the bezel area if possible, even if it means a touch more bezel on the bottom. KitKat is a point update for Android, but the refinements that Google brought to the table are very noticeable and polish the OS nicely, especially for larger high-res displays. The home screen app tray is customizable as usual, but icons are a touch bigger and just stand out a little bit more. In addition, if you just tap and hold on the home screen, you can see there's a combined widgets, wallpaper, and top-level Google settings tray now that just brings everything together nicely. Google Now is also made available with a simple swipe from the left of the home screen, and Google lightened up the menu palette as you can see as well, and it's a nice improvement. Everything just looks brighter, tighter, and neater, better organized with KitKat. Search is available all over the OS, including the phone's dialer for contacts, for example. And of course, the one halo feature of KitKat is OK Google, which, like Google's Moto X, offers a voice search with a simple command that works perfectly right out of the box with no training. OK Google, what's the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow?
KitKat's camera app is nicely appointed with most of the expected features you'd look for, like exposure, white balance, and flash settings, as well as different shot modes like panorama and a 360 degree photosphere mode. The Nexus 5's HDR setting really helps color vibrancy and lighting in stills. And it's a good thing because picture quality with the 8 megapixel camera on the phone is just so-so. It's not bad, but it's not great either, and there's noticeable shutter lag. Google could definitely improve upon this as well with future updates because the Nexus 5 definitely has the horsepower with Qualcomm's Snapdragon 800 processor on board to improve camera response significantly. HD video quality is decent, though somewhat uninspiring currently as well, with sometimes a slow autofocus, though the mic does a decent job of picking up quality audio. In terms of overall performance and gaming performance, the Nexus 5 is a beast. It's one of the fastest Android phones in the market right now, thanks to Qualcomm's super powerful Snapdragon 800 quad-core SoC and a further optimized Android 4.4 KitKat operating system that has been tuned with a lighter resource footprint overall and better memory management. Here's a look at Real Steel, a game based on one of my personal favorite family movies ever that's available as a free demo on Google Play. Graphics are impressive and gameplay was pretty fun on the Nexus 5's touchscreen. In the benchmarks, the Nexus 5 scores top ranks, even occasionally besting Apple's powerful iPhone 5S in a few tests. And seen here in 3 Mark Ice Storm, it's one of the fastest devices in FutureMark's database. I can't emphasize enough just how fast the Nexus 5 really is. Everything about it is snappy from start to finish. Undoubtedly, Google's Nexus 5 is one of the top smartphones on Hot Hardware's scorecard this year. So if you're looking for the best that Android has to offer right now, you really can't go wrong with the Nexus 5. But make sure you stop by hothardware.com for a full review with all the benchmark details. And of course, hit that subscribe button here on our YouTube channel for future updates and videos. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware with the Google Nexus 5 by LG. Thanks again for stopping by.